Hi guys, welcome back to Think Tank. In this video, I'm going to talk about asymmetric progression. So I given to I given a component in orthography projection. I want to draw it in asymmetric projection. So we have a front view and a plan. So I'm going to use the front view to get a clue of what I am going to draw. Okay. So this is my front view. Okay. But from the plan. So before doing anything, I'm going to extend the edges to make it look like it's in 3D, okay? So from the plan, I know this bar is at the center, okay? And if I look at the back of the plan, I know I have something that looks like this, okay? So this is a clue of what I am going to draw. Of course, it doesn't look good, but it is helping me to know what I'm going to draw. So let's get started. As usual, first you draw, first you draw my construction line. Okay. So I'm going to draw an asymmetric box. The length of my diagram is 15 plus 50 plus 10 plus 5, and that is 15 plus 15, 8 plus 50, that is 80. Okay, I'm getting this information from the front view. Okay, then what about the width from the plan? The width is 10 plus 10 plus 25, so that is 20 plus 25, same as 45. Okay, what about the height from the front view is 20 plus 25, so that is 45. And remember, all our measurements are in millimeters. Okay. And now I can construct my asymmetric box. Okay, and now I want to add information. So from the back of my block, I'm going to measure a distance of five millimeter. Okay. Then after measuring distance of five millimeters, I'm going to measure a distance of 15 millimeters. Okay. like this okay then from the front view you have to measure a height of five millimeters and after measuring height of five millimeters I'm going to measure a height of 20 okay then after that I'm going to measure distance that is 15 millimeters long okay then from the point I've measured five meters from this back, from the back, I'm going to measure distance of 10. Okay. And now I'm projecting this place. Okay. Okay. Then let me outline here so that you can get your clue of what you are doing. So first I'm going to outline here. Then Here, yeah. 
ओके ये foot is 5 mm long I have a block here 5 mm from the back every foot okay and that foot is 10 mm from the point I've measured 5 mm And it works. Then I join in here. Okay. Like this. Okay, and this distance is 20. And now you know what to get on massage here then that bar change this change this plane the plane that is 15 millimeters from the front okay then i'm going to draw the bar on top and that bar is five millimeter wide so if i say 45 minus 5 i'll get 44 divided by 2 that is 20 so i'm going to measure 20 from each side 20 from here i'm going to measure 20 on both sides okay so that after doing that i don't want to measure 20 from here I can simply do that by just projecting this distance up downwards, then projecting them horizontally. Okay, after doing that, I think I'm good to outline. So, my name again this. Okay, okay. Okay, if you buy here, okay. you see a good journey here. Okay. Okay, and now I'm only left with this portion. So from the plan, I have to measure the distance of 10 on both sides, 10 millimeter from the edges. This is 10. And after doing that, I draw construction line here. And here. Okay. So This distance is 25, and if you measure it, you see it's 25. So that means I'm going to outline there. OK. 
Okay, let me check it this way. Take this line to this point, and this is the diagram. Okay.